What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This video, again, is going to be for test prep for that state testing. Ugh, I know. But check it out. I'm here to help you. I'll take a sip of coffee because coffee is the best. Bam. Let's get started. All right, Tommy's not going to come uh, for this one because I'm going to make this quick so you guys can become experts. Oh, man, I want to go. I know, but you're good. Okay. All right. So... This type of question is one that you might see. You're asking, well, what am I looking at? This is basically, it wants to know which of these are functions. So I'm going to give you some quick tips and tricks on each one of these to see if it's a function. And then we're going to dig deeper into tables and figuring out how to write equations for tables. But it'll be quick. All right, so let's change that color. Uh, make it darker and we won't make the pen as thick. And here we go. So first one, anytime you're looking at an equation, um, it's a function if it's in a form of something y equals mx, okay? A function just basically means that it's a straight line, all right? There are going to be times when you might see something like this. It's still a function, right? Because if I simplify that, I'm going to get y equals 3x plus 9, whatever. That's still a function, right? I have a y equals mx. It doesn't matter if there's something here. It doesn't matter if the m is a fraction, doesn't matter. What does matter is if all of a sudden you get something like an x squared. Okay, that's no longer a linear function. Uh, something to keep in mind. Now it's technically uh, tricky, um, but that's not considered a linear function, right? Because it's not a line. Uh, that's something that's going to create a u. Um, that's for later. That's later. You get into high school when you get into things like parabolas and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Tables. Quick glances at tables. So again, with this, squareds, not linear functions. If it's an x, y equals mx plus form, it is. This one. Uh, what you want to look for in a table to tell if it's a function. A function is something, that, again, that is a straight line and that is continuous, right? It can't have a break in it. It can't look something like that. Um, it can't have like a jump like that. There, Those, it can't have. Okay, so to look, what you want to do is see if there's any duplicates. That's always the first thing I do. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Do any of those numbers duplicate? No, they're all different. But let's look at the y. 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. Notice 1 happens twice. So you're telling me I have a function that if I put in negative 1, out comes 1. But if I also put in 1, out comes 1? That's impossible. What? It can't be a function. Right? It doesn't work that way. Again, a function has to be something where maybe if this was a 2 instead, right? Okay, then yeah, it's a function. We don't have anything um, repeating. Okay, another tip for you. If that's confusing for you, graph it, right? So let's go negative 2, neg or let's go negative 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? You'll put a graph all of these. Negative 1, remember this is negative 1, 1. This is 0, 0, and then this is 1, 1. So you'll notice this is not because you end up making a u, a straight line. It's not a linear function. You can't do that because you end up getting the same number at two different points. Okay? Something to keep in mind. Uh, you've also got a line like this. Um, is this a linear function? Well, no, because as you can see, it's not a straight line. It's some z-looking crazy thing, right? A linear function needs to be a straight line. It needs to be continuous. It can go in either direction. Um, it can be flat, whatever, but it can't be breaking up discontinuous like this. All right, so what do you notice about this one? Hopefully, you're looking at it and noticing it's ordered pairs. Well, ordered pairs are the same as a table, really, right? This is technically negative 2, 4. This is negative 1, 1, right? Same thing. So we're looking for duplicates. We'll notice negative 15, negative 15. How do you plug in negative 15 and get out 10 here and then negative 15 and get out 5 here? Right? It shouldn't work that way. So with that in mind, that would not be a linear function because it's probably going to create a U-type graph. Okay, so that's one. Those are kind of the things you're looking for. Uh, the other thing I wanted to focus on quickly in this video uh, is this guy. What happens when you get a table and it wants you to write an equation? Okay, uh, This isn't hard. Uh, the reason I 
putting this in with this video as well because I think you guys can handle this. Remember, it. it's always in the form y equals mx plus b. You guys got this. You got this. Okay? It gives you 1, 18, 2, 17, 5, blah, blah, blah. It gives you a table. Remember, these are ordered pairs. Why is that important? Because you know how. I've, you made, I made videos on it. You guys can do this. You know how to find slope given two points. So all you're going to do is find two points. Don't deal with decimals. Don't do that. Find your easy ones. So I'm going to do 317 and 118. Okay? I'm going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So in this case, I'm going to label these. I always label it. Remember, it's best to label. Help yourself out, right? So this is going to, I'll make this my, my first point. So this will be x1, y1. This will be x2, y2. Remember, x is always first. So this is just the first ordered pair of my x and y. This is the second ordered pair of my x and my y. And I plug it in. So this is 17 minus um, 18. Sorry, I had to think for a second. I went, what are you going on? Over uh, 3 minus 1, which is equal to negative 1 over 2. Okay, so I know it is a negative a half is my slope. Okay, so I plug that in. Y equals negative 1 half X plus B. Well, I don't know what my B is. Um, but remember, if you don't know what your B is, you have an ordered pair. So you, I'm going to use 118. Take it and plug it in. My x is, oops, my x and my y, I know. So my y is 18. All I'm doing is plugging this into the equation. I've got negative 1 half, and my x is 1. Okay, that's going to make this easy. Plus b, right? Yeah, pretty easy. Cool. Now I'm going to do my multiplication, negative 1 half. Uh, times 1 is still a negative 1 half plus b. I need to solve for b, so I'm going to get it all by itself. So I'm going to get rid of this by adding 1 half. So this becomes 18 and 1 half, or 18.5, is equal to b. So I just plug that back in. y equals negative 1 half x plus 18.5. Bam, which one is it? Well, it's got to be d. Okay. Again, what do we do? We took ordered pair. We picked two of them. Right? We took those ordered pairs and we decided, let's find slope. We found slope. We then used one of those ordered pairs, plugged it back in. Bam! You can handle this. That is using a table to form an equation. Hope that helped. You guys are rock stars. Uh, keep watching my videos. If you need help, feel free to comment. I'm here for you. Uh, good luck on your test. All right? Deuces.